Hi everybody, welcome. Today is April the 12th and it's a Wednesday and I have been stitching a lot today. I put in 741 stitches in a whip in the last 24 hours. It's a whip go-go and I needed to put in five hours and I actually put in uh, more like seven six and a half seven hours I had a goal I wanted to take one line of the border and stitch it all the way around and make sure it was gonna meet up this is what I'm talking about this was my birthday start let love rain it is a beautiful piece and I started working the border across the top and then someone suggested that I take the small stitching line that goes around all the flowers and just you know does that little loopity loop all the way around and make sure it met up because then I would know that my border was gonna meet up before I stitched all those flowers and I thought that was a brilliant idea so for the last two days I've been stitching on this border and I got all the way down to the bottom if you can see that I got all the way down to the bottom and I even turned the corner and I thought oh this is exciting I've got at least at least halfway there maybe a little more in another stitching session I could do that so I took it out of the key snap and I opened it up to look at it knowing I was gonna do a little segment about my stitching and this is what I saw look at the top See something wrong with that? The double is the middle. There should be two of these and then the corner. And I only have one. Now I mark my pattern as I go. I don't know how I got it off kilter. But I marked one of these that I hadn't stitched or something. I don't know what happened. But I have put in Hmm. probably a good 600 stitches that I've got to rip out. I've got to rip this all the way back up to here. So I guess you can imagine what I'm about to tell you. This is going into timeout. I'm taking it out of my active whips until I can face it again because this was just, it's too big a piece um, for me to make that big a mistake and sit right here and rip it out and try to stitch it back in there I'm just not gonna do it. I have too many other things I want to work on. So I love it. It's beautiful, but guess what? It's silk. I Gotta rip out silk silk doesn't rip out. Well, I might as well just take my scissors and Slice it all the way every thread all the way up and just pull it out, which is probably what I'll do um, But I'm not gonna do it today. <laughs> I'm so sad. I'm so disappointed. This happens, you know, it was it was my mistake. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. And um, part of it, I think, is because I have it on key snaps. And part of it is because the pattern is 12 pages long. And so... I'm trying to do a border, so I'm going over 12 different pages trying to get the border done, and I've marked the pattern. So now I have to ignore that and just do count, 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 count. Um, but that's okay. I'll, I'll get it done. We have these things that happen. You know, we have mistakes that happen. And when I make one, I make a big one. <laughs> I made a really big one today. So basically, this is just gonna have to be in timeout for a little while. I don't want to fool with it right now. I don't wanna mess with it right now. Um, I want to let that get behind me. At some point, I'll be in the mood to rip it out and get it ready for when I want to pick it back up again. But it, it like I said, it may be a little while. So I am going to take a picture of it. I am gonna post it for my whip go because it's not only whip go, I believe that this is, yeah, this is my, one of my acrostics. It's actually two acrostics and a whip go. 
So I'm going to take a picture of it, and I'm going to post it, and I'm going to put in there, yes, I know, it's wrong, because <laughs> otherwise I'll get comments. Oh, my gosh, you've got a mistake, you know, thinking that I don't know. Um, but, oh, gee whiz, so sad, so sad. I was so stoked at the progress I was making on this. I was so delighted. I actually toyed with going all the way around. I am so glad that I did not work so late on this, you know, that I went all the way around because I really would have been sick, sicker than I am right now. But anyway, keeping it real, letting you know exactly what's going on with this. Um, and as of right now, uh, it's going inactive and I will pick a time when I'm ready to bring it back forward. So there you have it. And beautiful silks. Just love the silks. They're so fun to work with. It won't stay inactive long, but I just am, I'm just heart sick about it. And I don't want to spend a lot of time fussing with this one when I have so many other things I want to do. Um, I need to pick back up on Kringles. I've got to get that room done for April if I want to stay on board. I'm well behind on my autumn bell pull. I wanted to finish the M this month, and I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Um, I do have five, six whips that I need to stitch on for prompts of what I just picked up at the first of the year, you know, first of the month when I did my planning. Doesn't even begin to count the challenges that were posted this Friday, although I have stitched a couple of those because I was able to count um use some of the whips that I was working on the last two or three days to meet those uh, since Friday. So I will do that and I will be, I'll be fine. I just am so sad and a little miff with myself that I made such a terrible mistake. And I actually called myself double checking. I took my cue snaps off and kept checking to make sure. I counted with my needle down to make sure that all the edges were even every time that I did another dip one direction or the other, I compared it with the one above it to make sure. I was really checking, trying to avoid making a mistake. But you know what? It happens. It happens. So, um, somehow I got off. I don't know how I missed that second loop. and um, But I will be looking to see if I have scroll rods big enough when I bring this back out to put this on a scroll rod because I think I could see it a lot better if it were on a scroll rod because this is, you know, this is going to be at least another hoop, you know, right here. And it may go all the way to here um, before you get to the end of it when you put the corner in there as well. It'll be be further over. I remember thinking I'm gonna have a little more fabric on the side than I thought I was. Still didn't hit me. Anyway, that's okay. This is grandma's slip. 32 count. 32 because I like 32. And I'm really loving it now that I can see it. But um, anyway, we'll have to frog it and redo it down the road just a little bit. So I'm going to uh, put this away. I'm going to figure out if I want to stitch anything else today or if I just want to take a break. Um, I'll let you know. <laughs> if I come back tonight, you'll know that I stitched on something else. And if you don't see me till tomorrow or the next day, you'll know she didn't come back. <laughs> she took a break. <laughs> you know, sometimes when um, when you are having a difficult time with your stitching, if you are making mistakes, it is good to take a break. You know, give your mind a rest, give your hands a rest, and, you know, do something different. So, I very well may do that. But first, I'm going to take a picture and post it because I'm going to get credit for it. Even though I'm going to have to rip it all out, I did stitch it. And so, I'm going to get credit for it um, for my prompts um, and then put it away. Anywho, <laughs> alrighty, I'm going to let you go. On that sad note, I'm going to let you go. 
I hope your stitching is going a lot better than mine today. I really do. And I hope mine goes a lot better next time. <laughs> Happy stitching, everybody. Good evening, everyone. Welcome. This is Dina, and this is my channel about cross stitch. I am uh, glad to have you back again um, to see what I've been working on today. Today was Canasta Day. I had not played Canasta in a long time with my church friends, and primarily for traveling, and then I had meetings, and then I had surgery on my eyes, and um, you know, just wasn't going anywhere. I didn't have to go for a few days to make sure I didn't get an infection or anything accidentally get splashed in my face, that kind of thing. So today, I showed up for Canasta, and I um, really had a good time. And in the time that I've been gone, they've started playing a new form of Canasta uh, called Hand and Foot. I've played it before. It's a lot more complicated to me than the regular Canasta. So they had to remind me of the rules before we got started, but I jumped in and I did fine. Um, it's a slower version of the game. It takes a lot more time to get through the game. And... Um, when we finished that uh, first game, it was, we had started it around 1045 and it was 330 and I said, I'm sorry, I have to go. Um, so I didn't get to stay and play anything else, but it was fun. I had a good time. Now that was this morning, but also this morning I got to, to stitch and talk with my friend Glow and I'm so glad I did because Glow didn't know this, but she really helped me get back into stitching this morning. I had such a tough blow yesterday, uh, spending so much time on that whip and then finding out that I had left out an entire arch at the top and ha I'm gonna have to frog all that out. Um, it was a lot of work. It was over five hours worth of work and I gotta get rid of all of it. It really, really stole my stitchy bug. I didn't wanna stitch anymore last night. I put it away. I went downstairs and I didn't think about stitching the rest of the night. Um, and that's not like me. I usually go right from one to the next, but I didn't. And this morning, if it hadn't been for the fact that I was stitching with my friend Glow, I don't think I would have stitched this morning either. I would have just gotten up and gone to Canasta. And I'm not sure I would have stitched when I got home. Um, you know, it was just one of those things like, oh gosh, I'm just, I just can't make myself do that right now. But this morning, getting up and knowing that we were going to be stitching together, I looked at my prompts and I had already told Glow I was going to be working on um, my Miss Christmas Eve because I needed it for a prompt. And it was one of those in my uh, 30, um, 30, daily 30 group, which requires 300 stitches. So I thought, well, I better get started on it. <laughs> so this morning, I got started on her. And this is Miss Christmas Eve, and I had stitched down to just the top of this dress, and I, I had taken the pattern and enlarged it, and I've cut it into sections so that I could work on it in a manageable piece. Well, I was at the break of one of those cut sections, and so today I have almost finished all the way to the break, but I have also run my thread down the few stitches that it may have dropped below that page break. So I wound up taping the two patterns together so that I wouldn't miss anything. And um, so I've been working across here and I'll show you where I got to in a moment. I still have a tiny bit of this section of her dress to do that's above the page break for my, not the regular page break, but my break in my photocopy. Um, but I could see progress today. Now I will tell you, I only stitched 130 stitches today. I got about, uh, about 40 stitches in this morning while I was talking with Glow. And then when I got back from playing Canasta, I did the rest. Now, the reason that I can do only 130 stitches and count this for my Easter egg cross stick is that I stitched enough last month to get a coupon. And I can use this coupon once for the month in a monthly event, which this is a month-long event, 
And what it allows me to do is stitch 100 stitches and count it as if I have stitched them all. So it's a credit of 200 stitches. So today I stitched 130 and then I applied my coupon, uh, coupon for the posting. And so now it's as if I've stitched 300 uh, in my qualifying. And then in the other two acrostics, 24 hours across stitch and monthly magazine challenge, I'm using Miss Christmas Eve for an E in both of them. And there is not a limit. There's no amount of stitches that are dictated there. So 130 there is just fine. So it worked out, worked out beautifully. So here's where I got to. I'm sorry the light is so bright. Um, but I'm gonna see if I can get her over here where you can check her out. And it's the dress that I worked on today. So I worked two different colors of green in there, color completed them to the break in my pattern and went on down a few stitches. You can see that I did that in a couple of places, but like right in here and right over here, I, I dropped below the page break and just finished off that color. Uh, and then I did all the yellow that you see in here, the golden color. Um, all of the other spaces that are in this dress are just like the rest of the spaces in her. They're beads. She's gonna have a ton of beads. Um, but I was really tickled with that. And except for right here, in this little section, I have completed to what was my um, cut in my copy, my working copy. So a little bit of progress on her. I'm happy to, to see that happen. And that's good. I uh, met three prompts with her by doing that, which was awesome. So, Glow, thank you for helping me by being uh, on schedule to stitch with me this morning because <laughs> it got me going. Uh, it got me working together. Well, that's all the stitching for today. And uh, tomorrow, I hope to hit it good and hard, get a lot done, have something to share with you. And, um, and then... Uh, my husband's hiking buddy will be here, and we're going to go to dinner and chit-chat and talk, and then those guys will go to bed early <laughs> because they're getting up early Saturday to hit the road. Um, I hope you have good plans for the rest of your week. I hope that things are going uh, very well in your life. Um, I have a dear friend who's having some horrible health issues, and she's in a lot of pain, and... Um, She's got um, a couple of other things going on with her immediate family, siblings that are having trouble, and um, she's very worried for them. And so she has a heavy heart, and we were talking today, and she was um, sharing that with me. And it just um, reminded me that not everybody who's watching Floss Tube is in a great part or a great point in their life. And... Um, Many of you may be hurting. Uh, you may have physical ailments. Many of you that have commented, let me know, you know, some of your physical restrictions and why you can't stitch certain things or can't stitch any longer. Um, and so you just, I just want to acknowledge that and say, you know, that um, I really care. And when you share that with me, I stop and pray for you. And uh, I hope that you don't mind that, but um, I think that, you know, different, all of us have different things in our lives. Some are visible, some are not. And um, so just know that you're thought of and cared about. And, um, and I thank you for choosing to spend time with me. And um, appreciate that very much. So thanks for being uh, part of my community, part of my friendship. Uh, part of my stitching world. Uh, it's a huge part of my life. It really is. It has added so much to my life, and I just want to thank you for it. But um, till we speak again, happy stitching. Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Dina. It's the 15th of April, and I was walking Coco this morning, and, and um, one of my neighbors was backing out of her driveway and she headed down the street and stopped at the corner to talk to Coco and I 
and she said she was headed to the post office to mail off her taxes. <laughs> I thought, oh my goodness, it is that time of year. Well, today I did something monumental. Um, I started on my final whip go call for the month. I am doing two boards, so I have four each month. And the last one that I had left was a new start. And so I have to ask my sister Stephanie to look away because this is going to be for her. So on my whip go new start, this is what I worked on. It's a fancy that pattern, and this is the name of it. And this isn't a series. There are at least six other in the series. I don't have any of the others, but I just love this one. I thought this was so cute, and I wanted to do it for, for my sister Stephanie. So on Whip Go, it was to start it and work at least five hours on it. And so I went over to my basket of uh, project bags that contain my uh, Whip Go new starts and all of my projects that are whips are over here. So the, that basket's anything that's gonna be a new start on whip go for the year. So I went over there and I pulled this one out. And of course they're, they're not in the order that they're gonna be worked on, they're in the order that I put them on my board. So I had to go down and, and find it, but I did. And um, I pulled it out and I found out I had not kitted it up. I hadn't done anything. I didn't have fabric in it. I didn't have floss in it. So I looked at the back and I realized that the floss, there is a key in here for um, Gentle Art sampler threads and there's a complete key for Weeks Dye Works and then there's a complete key for DMC. And that's why I didn't worry about it because I knew I had the DMC. But just for fun, I went to my fancy floss <laughs> and I looked on my, uh, in my little uh, fancy floss uh, storage, which is, uh, I have little bags with the names of them on it, and I have them on big rings in alphabetical order. And so I just have them in my closet in there on hooks, big S hooks. And I went in there and I pulled the few that I had, and then I looked at the pattern to find the symbol for that and see what it was, and then looked at the picture to, um, to see what color that actually was closest to. And I pulled a little more fancy floss that I felt would substitute well. And then I just went with the rest of the DMC. And so mine is a combination of all three. <laughs> it's what I had in my stash. I am doing Stitch from Stash this year. So um, I did find out though that this project requires some buttons some decorative buttons from just another button company. So I went online today and they do have online, they had a package for this very pattern. I looked for that in particular. Unfortunately, they're sold out of it. <laughs> and when I looked at what was included in the package, there were buttons in there that aren't on this pattern, even though it was put together for this pattern. So I thought, oh, okay, I'll just see which ones I wanna use and see if I can get them individually. And I am happy to report that I could. And so I placed my order for my buttons today. And I'm sure I'll get them, you know, in the next week or two. But long before I'm going to need this since it's a Christmas present. Anyway, got started on my project. And um, this is my progress. So my goal on WhipGo was five hours of stitching. And so that's what I did here. And um, I didn't even count the time that it took me to select fabric and flosses and do my conversion. I did all that first and I didn't start really counting the five hours until I started stitching. And I do mine by stitches. And so I did 561 stitches today. So that's roughly five hours. And uh, I thought that I got a cute amount done. This is funny because you know, <laughs> I'm trying to do everything and then do fill in around it. So that looks kind of funny. Um, my, it looks like my ears, but it's not, of course. Okay, Stephanie, you can look back now. So I wanted to show you my whip go board because that finished my whip go boards. And I was able to color in number five and number 17 on both of my whip go boards. Uh, so
so um, tickled to death that I have been able to complete my whip go calls for the month of April and it's only the 15th which is wonderful so now I have time to go back and pick up my Kringles and finish the room that I want to do for this month that's probably gonna be the next thing I do uh, I had started working on it a little bit yesterday just enough to hit a prompt I have another prompt I can hit with it so I'll try to do that tomorrow um, I may leave this new start out because it's not going to take me too terribly long to finish it maybe another you know couple of st stitching sessions on it um, but it would be lovely to be able to get that done um, and so I'm thinking about that I have a couple of prompts that I need to work on for one of my um, daily 30 group and I still have a couple of letters to finish on acrostics so I have plenty of um, you know goals that I can work toward and work on and I'm looking forward to doing that it was, it was going on probably about 3 3 30 by the time I got to eat today so I went downtown to one of my favorite little places to eat and I had lunch and um, I'm sitting at the table wait, waiting for my check so I can pay my bill and a, a young girl comes up to me and she goes hey and I looked at her for a second and then I looked at her really hard and it turned out to be the young girl from the library meetup that was working with me on learning to stitch Kaylee and I was so excited to see her I missed her last month because my husband and I were singing at a funeral at our church and um, I had to leave and, and she got there five minutes after I left it was horrible I just I was I hated that I missed her and she mentioned that today she said I got there five minutes after you had to leave <laughs> so anyway I talked with her mom today and I was able to tell her mother what I had heard from the library about the change in the policy and how it was not our choice to do that that we had not asked for that change and that I was just you know really upset because I didn't have a way to get in touch with them to let them know that we hadn't asked for that I didn't want them to feel that we were pushing Kaylee away um, so as it turned out we were able to exchange information and um, she's agreed to give me a call and set up a time that Kaylee and I can meet elsewhere and I, I recommended Panera Bread they'll let you sit and stitch and don't give you any trouble about it and um, I told her you know there's one here in town and we could meet there uh, I told her I had a kit put together for Kaylee I told Kaylee what was in the kit and she got all excited and so um, that was just awesome today I was so tickled I really was tickled I hope that Kaylee's mother goes and gives the library personnel a different view from a parent of how much it upsets her that her daughter can't come I didn't suggest she do that I'm just hoping that she will <laughs> but in the meantime I feel good because I know that I can meet with little Kaylee and we can stitch again and um, she seemed really tickled you know to um, that I had thought of her and put something together for her and um, her mother assured me she would call so I hope she will I really hope she will you guys um, so now I hear Coco stirring around. She's up from her nap. I'm going to go down and spend some time with her, see if I can get her to eat. Coco doesn't like to eat by herself. And um, her dad and I sometimes will just go and sit with her if we're if it's not at the same time we eat. And here it's, it's almost 10 o'clock, so I'm not going to be eating again. But I may go sit with her and see if I can get her to eat a little more food today. She didn't eat very much today. Um, and that's okay. I just don't like it when she doesn't eat <laughs> I think she's got to be eating you know but glad I got to share with you my new start I'm so happy to report that it's the final whip go call for this month and I hope that I'll be able to get enough stitching done the rest of the weekend um, you know to have more to share with you and I forgot to mention this is a whip go weekend and so I've got to go in real quick now and post that I worked on one of my whip go numbers for the weekend because that's what you're supposed to do during a whip go weekend if you can and so I'm excited to be able to do that 
And so I need to go in, it'll be my number 17. I had to look and see which one it was, five or 17. And I can go in and post a picture of it and show my progress. So I'm excited about doing that. Hope you have a great weekend. I don't know when I'll be back to video again. It may be tomorrow or it may be Monday or Tuesday um, with everything that we got going on. But anyway, as soon as I have something to share with you, I will. And uh, in the meantime, I hope you have a great weekend of stitching. Happy stitching, everybody. Good evening, everyone. Welcome. It is Sunday. It's the 16th of April. And I'm here to give you the results of two days worth of stitching for me. As you know, one of the things I've said I wanted to accomplish this year was to try to finish Kringles. And I had divided the pattern into monthly sessions um, of what I wanted to finish each month in order to have it ready to hopefully frame in time for Christmas this year, if I can. And if not, at least finish it this year. So I'll remind you, for those of you who hadn't seen it in a while, this is Kringles. And my assignment for this month was to finish this row by stitching that room. And it took me a couple of days of stitching because of all the different things I had going on over the weekend, but I managed it. And as of today, I stitched 734 stitches today. On Friday, I stitched 353 and I didn't I didn't stop and film. I just stopped and took a picture and put it for a prompt in my castles challenge in the daily 30 group. And then I stitched today. I stopped when it was around 437 stitches <laughs> and for today's stitching and I took a picture of where I was then and I posted it for a, another um, prompt. That prompt was to stitch on something that was grand and I said it was grand to think of a toy story, a toy store that would be this large and this uh, have this much variety in it all in one location and to look this impressive. And so that is how I felt like it was grand. So today I finished that third room and it is the one that has the train in it. So there's my train with the red caboose. It has Christmas trees all around, houses and Christmas trees. And I think this is meant to be like a little train set going around a larger Christmas tree. There's garland in the top, of course snowflakes and um, I didn't do this one with the bright white um, because it didn't need to show up like these trees like they were an object I'm saying that that would be kind of the decoration in the scene um, and so I just left it the ecru um, probably will use the bright white off and on just to make it pop you know but that top row is now finished. I'm so tickled. I think it's beautiful. It's a lot of stitching in these little windows. It looks like it's small, and they are small, but there are a lot of color changes. So you do have to be aware of that. And you do have to you know, accommodate it. it. It's not that many colors in the project. It's a small number of colors, um, but they do have you change up like the, the tree is one color of green and the garland is another. And, um, and then you've got the darker green as the little sprigs coming off the garland. And then you've got the red, you know, pops of red in there like this berries in the garland. So you, could, you do have a few changes going on. But I think it's lovely. I think the piece is beautiful. And I am ready to put it away um, unless I have extra time at the end of the month. 
And if I do, then I will, of course, start working on brick and mortar to go down through here. There's a, a square just like this, top and sides, is on the next row. And I think that would be, if I have extra time, I would want to stitch at least enough to start the first room for May. So we'll see. But that's the one that I finished working on that goal today. So that leaves me one final goal in my challenge um, from Daily 30. And then I have just a couple of acrostics letters left to do. And I'll get back working on those hopefully in the coming week. But um, I just wanted to go ahead and get that monthly goal that's not whip go, finished whip go earlier uh, in the week, weekend rather, um, actually did that on Saturday and then knocked out this monthly goal today, finished it up today. So this weekend has been grand. I have gotten my whip go, my last whip go goal met and I've got my monthly uh, stitching, minimum monthly stitching done on my Kringle. So th I think that's a red letter weekend. That's awesome. Um, I am planning to participate in the 24 Hours of Cross Stitch Marathon coming up this coming weekend uh, with my husband away. That'll be easier to do. And I have enlisted the help of some friends to uh, do that with me. And um, so I have uh, plans. We're going to do a little uh, fun little marathon themed competition. Um, just friendly stuff, nothing really strong, but um, I think we are going to have a great time encouraging each other to stitch as much as possible over that weekend. So if you're joining in to the 24 Hours of Cross Stitch Marathon, good luck to you. I hope you get as many hours as possible, and I hope you make some goals for yourself if you, if you want to. Um, I always enjoy setting a goal. It gives me something to push toward. That's just how I'm wired. I like that. It's not stressful to me. If I don't make it, I'm disappointed a little bit, but if I have something I can really go for, then I think it helps me to stay focused. Um, and like I've said before, when I run out of all my prompts to stitch on, I have to make myself small goals to really tell me when I, it's time to swap projects. I, I think really that's what it is. I'm afraid if I don't, I'll get burnt out on something and then I'll lose my stitchy bug. So I don't want to do that. So I hope you've had a great weekend. I'm going to tell you good night. Uh, Coco is, has come up to join me and she's napping over there on the floor trying to let me know it's time to go to bed. But she's being very gracious. She hasn't come over here and jumped on me and tugged at me to leave yet. She actually let me finish stitching. She was a very sweet girl. All right, I will talk to you hopefully tomorrow. Happy stitching everybody. Good morning everyone, welcome back. Today is the 18th of April and I've gotten an early start to my day. Well, I had a little bit of time this morning before I have to rush off to Bible study at church today. And so um, I decided that the first thing I wanted to accomplish today was to clean up my area that I use to fully finish objects. I have my sewing machine there, I have a sit-stand table, and I had all sorts of trims and fabrics and um, batting and everything else because I had been finishing objects a while back and I had started working on one that I didn't get completely done uh, for the season and so I just left it there and thought I'll get back to it well then I didn't get back to it for a long time so this morning I decided the best way to clean up that mess was to finish my fully stitched object into an FFO and then I could put away everything, all of the supplies and um, 
you know, just straighten up that area and get it to, to where it's ready and more inviting when I want to finish the next thing. So I went ahead and pulled back out my Merry Ho Ho. You've seen it when I stitched it. It's got a wand with a, a silver button that I added to it and you can hear the jingle bells. I decided to add a ribbon with the two bells and a little holly leaf in the middle um, in the corner there just to dress it up a little bit. I didn't want to put a whole lot of trim, frou-frou trim around it because it's not a frou-frou piece, you know. It, it's really a simple, understated little piece. But I felt like this was a great little topper. And so I had this in my stash. I had this in my stash. And yesterday I picked up this little red ribbon. I had I bought a red and a green one so that I could put it in my Christmas finishing because I had run out. And I did that just so I would have something to fully finish this with. So I chose a fabric out of my stash that had been gifted to me by a viewer last year. And I thought that just went really well with it because A, it's got bells on it, and it's got the reindeer that have been working with Santa. So I thought that was just really cute. So there you go. <laughs> it's a nice size. It's not overly large. Um, and I did, I did stuff it pr pretty full. It's pretty tight. It stands up really well. Uh, it leans onto something, so it'll go really pretty in a bowl or on a shelf. And I sewed it around on the sewing machine. I left a little opening here to stuff it. And then I just hand closed it. And I think I did a fairly decent job. You don't see too much of the, of the thread there. So it looks nice and neat. And um, so there you have it. I know it's not Christmas season, but I think you understand. I just needed to get this one finished, I felt like, rather than put it away in pits and pieces and, you know, maybe lose something. You may not be able to tell it in the camera, but the ball on top of his hat and the fringe around his hat, the little trim on his hat, is in a sparkling uh, thread and it doesn't come through at all, but it's very shiny. And his beard is whisper thread. And so it is very fluffy looking uh, to, the, uh, to the naked eye, even though you can't tell much difference about it, you know, um, there. So I embellished it by using the whisper. I embellished it by using the, you know, glittery uh, looking, shimmery looking floss. And I put a button on it and then I put my own little topper in the corner. So. Anyway, I think it's a cute Christmas pillow. I, uh, I'm gonna enjoy using it in the coming year. And um, just wanted to show you my finish. I think it looked great. So I'm gonna, now I can pack it away. <laughs> Fully finished, I can pack it away with my Christmas supplies and um, pull it out next this coming Christmas. Thanks for letting me share that with you. I'm gonna go on about my day. And if I get to do any stitching later this afternoon, I'll be happy to share it with you. Happy stitching, everybody. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back. <laughs> it is the 19th of April today, and I am so excited to come to you today and show you my stitching because I had a finish. Oh, I'm so tickled to have a finish. I've been working on when I think of stitching with my friend Glow, and we started it very close to each other, and we've been stitching on it when we get to talk every week. And this week, we got to talk this morning instead of Thursday morning. And so I was working on this, setting it up last night, getting it ready, and I was um, looking at Something easy to stitch on um, after a, a meeting a prompt for yesterday. So I thought, I'm just going to put a few stitches in this and get ready for tomorrow to stitch with glow. And it went really fast. And I had to stop. I had to make myself go to bed because I wanted to stay up and finish it. And I didn't want to do that to glow. 
because I knew she was very close to a finish and she might be able to finish it today as well. And so I decided I would make myself stop before I finished it. So this morning while we were talking, I finished it. And here's mine. This is on that beautiful fabric, Fortnite fabric you can't get anymore because they're not dying right now, but it's mind blowing. And this is the one my friend Donna wanted so badly and it didn't fit. But I think I may have told you, we found one very similar called Amazing. And it was very similar to this with a little bit of pink in it. And she needed that in hers anyway. So hers is gonna be beautiful. Uh, she's working on a piece for her granddaughter. I can't wait to see it. But this is 32 count Lugana. And I made just a couple of adjustments and I wanna tell you what they are and why I made them. And then I'll tell you something funny about it. First of all, I think I have mentioned in the past, I swapped the two colors at the top. It was supposed to be that goldeny color and then the white on top. But I wanted the gold to break up the white so that it could be seen because the white would just disappear into that modeling, I thought, on the fabric. So I flip flopped those, no problem. Then when I came over here and I started working on the scissor fob, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a D in there. The pattern comes with a full alphabet so that you can put your own initial on the fob. The one in the pattern is a P, I guess for puntini, puntini. Um, and so I started, I counted from the edge thinking that all the letters would fit. Uh, and as it turned out, my D that I started in the same place that they did didn't have enough space on the end to look balanced. It would fit in there, but where this side had two, this side was only gonna have one, and it just didn't look right. So I added a third stitch at the top and bottom and then did my V, you know, my little outline uh, around there, and it made the D centered perfectly it was a, a much more balanced piece. So then I had, I had put in an extra stitch when I did three across. So I had to adjust this little tiny um, fob uh, connecting chain or ribbon, whatever that is. It's done in black, so it must be thread or ribbon. And um, I had to take just one out there. Um, you can't tell it, it looks fine. It was one of those really easy customizations, but it was for a purpose. It wasn't an error. It was to actually make the D fit um, much, much better. And so when I was talking with um, Glow this morning and I said, I'm finished, I finished. I pulled it off and showed it to her. And I said, look, I put pins, I put beads rather uh, for the tops of this, the pins in the little tomato and she goes, I did too. <laughs> and then I was telling her about my initial in this fob and what I had to do. And she said, so did I. <laughs> Great minds think alike. What can I say? It was wonderful. But this is a very small piece. Um, I don't know whether I can put it in um, a flat fold or whether I want to just frame it. But then Glow mentioned she thinks that she's going to put it on a project bag use it to make a project bag with. I don't know what I want to do with mine yet, but it is, it's small and kind of short, and it's gonna have to lay this way, so it really lends itself, I think, to a flat fold. But I have a stitching wall. All the way up my stairs are all my cross stitches about stitching, um, and I really wanted to add it there. So I'm just gonna have to go look. I'm just gonna have to go look and see if I can find a lightweight frame that this will fit in well. And then if so, I'll add it to my stitching wall. Isn't that great? So excited. That's my first finish in the month of April. Um, and I'm really tickled about it. So what are my plans for the rest of the day? Well, I have been a busy girl. Um, I've been taking full advantage of Coco having her play date with Fred, and I have 
reorganized my closets, all of my desk drawers, my storage drawers. I mentioned I cleaned off my finishing table. Um, I have just a few little more things to find a permanent home for. And I will have really accomplished all of the spring cleaning kind of activities I wanted to do while Coco was not underfoot and not needing attention and not needing to walk so that I could just make the big mess and get everything organized and put everything back without having to stop because that gets real discouraging. So I'm real tickled about that progress. I did stitch on my um, Kringles enough to meet the minimum for the month. I would love to pick it back up and put some brick and mortar in it later. But I have another big goal that I need to work on today, and that's what I'm gonna be working on this afternoon, and that is my autumn bell pull. I have two prompts to meet with autumn bell pull. They both require 300 stitches. So that's a minimum of 600 stitches I need to put in it. And that, I hope, brings it close to a finish for that letter M, because then I only have one letter left. And if I give myself a couple of months to do that, I could easily have this finished in time to turn it into my bell pull and have it up this, this autumn, which is what I would like to do. So today I am working on autumn bell pull and I started working on it while I was talking to Glow after I finished um, my When I Think of Stitching because I knew that's what I needed to accomplish this afternoon. And I only got a couple of hundred stitches in so far, but um, then I had to stop and go do some meetings and appointments, um, just a couple. But I got those done and now I am ready to stitch. So I'm excited about that. I hope that I have something to share with you at least by tomorrow. I don't know that I could finish both prompts, you know, by the end of today. And I don't really want to film one prompt and then film a second prompt because you're just looking at the same piece twice. Um, I think that might be a little boring for you. So I will stitch on it until I stitched on it all. I'm going to stitch on it for this session and then I'll film it and I'll share it with you. Well, I hope you're having a great week. It's it's too quiet in my house. My husband's uh, hiking and uh, Coco's at Fred's and it's just quiet. If I didn't have my floss tube friends to watch and listen to, I think I would be a little uncomfortable, you know, just that it's so silent here. Um, I miss my noisemakers, <laughs> I guess that's it. But um, I am excited because tomorrow evening, my son's coming up. We're going to cook together Friday night for some guests. So that's the news for today. So far, probably all <laughs> that will be for today. Uh, but I hope you're having a great week of stitching, as I said, and I hope you have a wonderful time this weekend. If you're participating in the 24 Hours of Cross Stitch, I wish you much luck. I am participating in it, and so far, Glow and I were talking this morning, I think I have decided I would really like to start my second pattern on my By the Bay 13th Colony this weekend. Um, the other thing I thought about working on also is the new start that I just did for my sister Stephanie because it's going very well, and I would love to get that completed. Um, that would be my first gift that I have stitched that I would have completed. Um, I don't know um, what else I might want to work on, if I'll have time to work on anything else, but um, I am looking forward to it. And I'm really hoping that within the three days that I can get 24 hours of stitching. Really hoping I can. We shall see. <laughs> and um, until I see you again, happy stitching. Hi everyone, welcome back. It's later on, on the 19th of April, and I wanted to share with you what I was able to get done this afternoon and evening. I pulled out my autumn bell pull that I mentioned I was gonna try to work on today. I'm working on this letter M, and I had two prompts that I could work on for it, and I did, and I did 300 stitches exactly because I was counting to be sure I met the 300 for the prompt. And then I did 
post for that prompt, and then I started stitching until I finished a goal. And so I wound up getting 469 stitches for that second prompt that I only needed 300 for, but I finished my goal. So 749 stitches <laughs> today. Wow, that was way more than I was expecting. But it just flowed, it just went so well. And I really, really have enjoyed working on this today. So this is where I got to on my autumn bell pull. I finished completely both flowers now, and I've got the greenery done on one of them. I'm working my way down. And so I came back over here. I put this leaf to position so I would make sure that I had my words where they would fit. I counted and started at the top and worked my way down. And this one is actually placed perfectly. So it says, Mercy's Unchanging Winter, Spring, Summer, or Fall, which I thought was a beautiful saying. It's part of the poem, you know, as it works together. But now I'm excited because what I have left is that pumpkin right there. I got the pumpkin and the rest of the M left. And then there's a bit of... Um, vine greenery kind of stuff right there too but that's the corner that i have left so may not be finished in one more stitching session but maybe in a couple you know it would be and so i am just tickled to death that i've gotten this one this far today makes it great so that's all i'm gonna uh, close up my stitching shop now. <laughs> I'm gonna go and get some supper and I have um, a little bit of things I want to do this evening. I may watch a movie. I may um, work on laundry. I may do a few things because it's my last um, evening without my puppy and I go get her in the morning. I cannot wait to see her. I have missed her terribly. So I will go get her in the morning and bring her home with me and we will have the day together and then I'm hoping that my son gets to come and uh, hang out with me a little bit Thursday night and Friday so I'm gonna put this away I hope you have had a great day of stitching I know I certainly have and I'm now um, I'm gonna work on what I'm going to do for May Mondays um, probably tomorrow and try to figure that out. One of the um, new starts I had designated in my head for May Monday, um, Glow and I were going to start together the first Monday in May. And then we both uh, are finishing up our When I Think of Stitching and we need another project to stitch together. So we decided next week we'll just start that one. So, so we're pulling that one forward. And um, it's called us, I think it's a, Sampler for All Seasons, I think that's the name of it. Anyway, that was gonna be one of my May starts. And now I'm gonna start it before May. <laughs> so I have two starts that I get to pick what I want to do for. So I'll be looking at that really close tomorrow and hopefully I can share that with you. In the comments, let me know what you're gonna do if you're gonna do something special in May. If you're gonna do Mania or May Mondays or Monogamous. May. I heard uh, the other day one of the floss tubers said they're going to do a Mirabilia May. So there's all kinds of things you can do. So if you're going to do something special, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, everybody, happy stitching! <laughs>